Mr. Harris here, and welcome to a new video of chapter 4.3. In this video, we're going to continue talking about heredity, but we'll be more specifically talking about how DNA could carry the genetic information. So before I begin, let us recall what we learned about in the previous video. So we learned about the DNA's structure, the structure of the DNA, which is double helix, or with the analogy of twisted ladder, spiral ladder, or even spiral pasta. But to be more specific, of course, it is double helix. And also I introduced the four kinds of bases, the four bases, which are, do you guys remember? Yes, it is at Gold Coast, so A-T-G-C. And of course they exist in pairs. So base pairing, recall that. So I'm gonna give you the answer right now. So how DNA could carry the genetic information is based on the sequence of the basis. So what exactly do I mean by this? So as we know, there are four kinds of bases. Let me write it down again, A, T, G, C at Gold Coast. They can combine to form different codes. Now, what do I mean by codes? Later on, we'll be trying to solve some codes, some mystery. I love those questions. Hopefully you'll enjoy them too, but I'll, we'll talk about that later on. But these codes that we get, they can instruct a cell to make particular kinds of proteins. Okay, so let me talk about protein now. So proteins are the important chemicals that help us to build cells. Okay, they can build cells and they basically affect almost all the activities of our cells. So what do I mean by that? Now, look at this sequence over here. We have sequence one. So because as I said, the, the codes, right? The codes are formed over here, different bases, they can form different codes, okay? And then the codes over here can instruct a cell to make proteins. So just imagine these are some codes over here. Okay, later on, we'll try to decode this, but for now, just imagine they're codes. And of course, they are paired up with their pairs. So for example, over here I have T, it will be paired up with A. A will also be paired up with T. Over here I have G, it will be paired up with C, so on and so forth. Okay. And now look at this sequence on the other hand. The first couple of base pairs, they're pretty much the same. T, A, C, G. Okay, T, A, C, G over here. And then after that, you would notice that the pair starts to, the bases start to change. And because this is a different code, okay, there are different codes now, it will instruct a cell to make a different kind of protein now. Okay, so do you get the logic? So DNA, as I told you, because it has the sequence of bases, okay, because the sequence of bases inside the DNA, they can control the kind of protein that a cell can make, as I've just showed you. Because of the difference in the basis, a different protein is formed. Now, because a different protein is formed, and then recall, and you must recall that because proteins, they can affect almost all the activities of our cell. So proteins, they can control the activities of our cell, and this on the other hand, will determine our traits. Okay, so let me repeat again. DNA, due to the different sequence of bases, we can form those codes, right? And different codes, when you get those codes, you can get proteins. And from this, proteins, because proteins can control the activities of our cells, and they will determine our traits. For example, our eye color, whether we can have dimples, whether we can uh, roll our tongue, so on and so forth, all right? So please make sure you understand this flow chart over here. You need to understand how DNA will affect, at the end, our traits. So now let's try to decode some. Let's try to see how this actually works. So over here, you have a table. So for example, look over here, we have AAA. So AAA over here, those bases will mean a small letter A. So if I look at over here, you have CCT, it will mean K. 
So do you understand what is going on? Okay. Now let's look at some questions. Let's see, question A, 1A. We have GTC, CTG, CAT, CGG, AGT. And you must be thinking, what on earth is this? Don't worry. We will do one by one. We will refer it back to the table and help us to solve it. Okay, this is activity 4.6. So first off, we have the code. We have the basis GTC. So we go back to the table and look for GTC. GTC is over here. And the code I get is the letter S. So right, so over here, I'm going to write down the letter S down here. Okay. And the next thing, same thing, is CTG, right? So I'm going to go back, look for the table, and find where is CTG. CTG is over here, and the code I get is the letter M. So over here, I get M. All right, next one. So now I think you're getting the hang of it. It's CAT. So I look for CAT, CAT. Okay, where is CAT? CAT is down here, which is the letter I. So I'm going to go here and put the letter I. And next one, CGG. CGG. Let's see who can find it faster. It's over here. It's letter L. And finally, AGT. Over here, AGT. This is, I found it over here, letter E. So there you go. The word over here, when you decode these bases, you will get the word of smile so make sure you smile every day that's a good reminder as well smile okay so do you understand this is how this is how proteins are formed basically they can decode it those bases over here and then they understand what protein to be formed so let's try this one now ata so we go back to the table and look for ata so where is ata at i found it over here is the letter f Okay, F and AAA over here on the uh, top, which is the small letter A, of course. And then tag, T-A-G, which is over here. Okay. Is it fat? No, it's not fat. And then actually you can do it by yourself. I'm not going to do it anymore, but I think you get the gist of how you need to do these questions, okay? And then at the end, you'll get it. This is father. Okay. And this one, this one, I just wanted to talk about one of them, which is TTC over here. TTC is actually quite interesting. It says over here, TTC is a space. So what it essentially means is you just make sure you leave a space in between and then whatever the word is at the front and then whatever the word is over here. Okay, so you can pause the video, try it by yourself. Now I'm going to tell you the answer. The answer for this is blue, and then there's a space, sky. All right. Oh, so by the way, so please make sure you watch the video of why is the sky blue. One of your schoolmates in Form 1 has made the video. So please make sure you have a look at it. And I think it's also quite interesting to answer why is the sky blue. All right. So let's wrap up this part. The genetic information carried in DNA is based on the sequence of blank on the DNA. So genetic information carried in DNA is based or by the sequence of bases, of course. And then DNA determines our traits by controlling the kinds of blank that a cell makes. So DNA can determine our traits and traits are controlled by the kinds of what can the cell make? The proteins, of course. Okay? So make sure you study back the flow chart. That will be very, very beneficial for you to understand this whole part. All right, so that sums up this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.